Hey guys, welcome back. My name's Jess. And I'm Jackie. And we are a military couple who are PCSing to Yokosuka, Japan. Woo! Woo! So we're doing a series on everything that we have been through in the process of trying to get ready to go to Yokosuka. Um, so we're covering paperwork, UB, household goods, storage, everything from start to finish. So if you guys are PCSing, especially Okonis, and especially, especially to Yokosuka, then you are in the right place. So today we're talking about storage. You can go in whatever order you want. You don't have to go in the order that we did it. This was just our chosen order. If you have furniture or something you're gonna be putting into storage, then do it last, that way you have it for the longest amount of time. So the way that we did it was um, expedited shipping first so that we can make sure it got there before we did. And it did. Yeah, it did. Mm -hmm. And then household goods. We ended up sending our stuff out like a month early and it's set to arrive about July. Yeah, which is like two months after we do. Yeah, but they could take up to six months to arrive and sometimes it just never comes. Yeah. Everything counts towards your weight allowance. So like combine UB household and storage and that will all be your weight allowance. And that's determined by your rank. Storage is gonna happen the same way all your other pack outs happen, just mm -hmm. like household and UB. So they do the pre-interview. Um, because of COVID, it's going virtual. So you just walk them around the house. And then they show up with all their stuff in the truck and they pack it and they take it. We literally just woke up like maybe 15 minutes ago and storage just called and was like, we're here. I think that's a pretty clear space to walk in and out. We didn't have that much stuff in storage, so they took mm -hmm. it the same day. Absolutely. Yeah, they were like gone in two hours flat. Yeah, it was it so quick. One of the things that we did was we made sure all of our storage stuff was in a separate part of the house with like do not pack signs on it so that it didn't accidentally go with household goods. Yeah. And we also put silica packs in almost every piece of the storage ones because it's going to be in a storage facility, but we don't know if it's climate controlled or not. Mm -hmm. We heard so those waves. We're just hoping for the best. So they basically take your stuff and they put it inside these wooden crates and they'll do this with all three of your moves. So UB you get one crate. Household you get basically as many as you want and same with storage. They'll put an item number on it and then your name and then the move number. The Department of Defense specifically says we highly recommend that you do not tip or feed your movers. We feed them strictly because I feel bad seeing them work and I literally can't do anything and they're just sitting there working. And then number two, because if you bring the food to them, they don't have to leave. Exactly. <laughs> they just stop and eat really fast and then it's way faster. Mm -hmm. Last time we grilled the hot dogs, this time we did not. So I feel kind of bad about that, but we uh, just stuck it in a bun, put some cheese on the bottom. And now we're, yeah, some apples and cuties. And there we go. That's their lunch for the day. It's officially over. Three movers. UB. Household goods. Storage. They've all come in. They've all taken their respective stuff. If you're moving overseas and the car that you own right now would require like customization, then they likely will not let you bring your car over or like they'll let you bring it but they give you the option to not bring it right and store it instead at the military's expense yeah so we decided to sell jackie's car and then leave my car in storage so if you want to put your car into storage then you reach out to your household goods representative who will be giving you a um pov storage letter yes what you will do is you're going to want to reach out to um, the storage places, which you can find on www.pcsmypov.com. And this is going to be the same people that will also ship your car. So whether you're shipping or storing this, this will kind of go along with what you need. They required orders, registration, a POV storage letter, a DD-1797, which is a personal property counseling checklist a copy of your driver's license, a form, a recent form showing that there are no recalls on your specific VIN number, a pre-shipping and storage instruction form, 
a storage acknowledgement form and you get all of that put together and you send it to the people. You need to make an appointment online and it's at that same website. Um, and you pick whatever day works best for you. We chose Friday because we're thinking our flights will be on Monday. Yeah. And typically the flights are like 4 a.m. and the place doesn't open until 8. So it's like we have to do Friday because they're not open on the weekend. Once you make the appointment, you have a couple of things you need to check on your car to make sure it's ready to go. So you need a DOT sticker and then the EPA sticker. If you don't have an EPA sticker, you need to get some sort of letter. You need a new battery or a battery that's less than two years old. You need to have your oil changed. A full checkup on your car. Less than a quarter tank of gas. No personal items inside the car. And then they ask that you detail and clean the car the day you drop off. If for whatever reason your spouse goes first, you can get a power of attorney. And when you come back from your old CONUS and you return CONUS side, wherever you end up stationed at, they will ship your stuff to. So your car will get shipped there and your stuff will get shipped there. They'll ship it to Hawaii and Alaska too, which is technically Oconus. Well, hopefully this series has been uh, both fun and informative. Thank you so much for your support. As always, stay safe, stay happy, most importantly, stay you. See you guys again next time, and until then, we hope you have a wonderful Navy day. Bye! Bye!